to my channel I hope you guys are well. Today as you can tell from the title up there I think I'm going to be testing out a few beauty products as well as some tools this time so it's going to get super intense. I've already done one of these videos where I was testing out the peel off lip tint so I'll leave that down in the description below for you guys. If you're new to my channel and you have never seen this face before be sure to subscribe. The subscribe button is just down below and also don't forget to subscribe to my vlog channel which is called Roxora's Vlogs. And if you enjoy this type of video please be sure to give it a big old thumbs up. But without further ado, let's just jump straight into the video. Okay, so the first thing I've got here is this little device and this is actually a nose... I don't even know what to call it to be honest. It's a Asian beauty tool and basically what this is meant for is putting it on your nose and you're apparently meant to wear this for an extended period of time and it's meant to make your nose more slender in the long run and I have no idea how to actually use this like I've had this for quite a while but I guess you just clip it on your nose like this <laughs> I don't know is that how you're meant to do it I think I don't know it feels really really strange I don't know but I look so stupid right now <laughs> you imagine me walking out into the street like hey look at my nose DIY nose job over here yeah I don't know if this would actually work I mean I haven't worn it for an extended period of time like you're meant to but it feels very uncomfortable on the nose, so I wouldn't recommend this. Does it work though? Have you guys tried it out? Let me know in the comments if you have tried this. The next beauty tool I have is of course the brush, what is it called? It's kind of like an artiste, artist, you know, like a fake version of it, but from a different brand. This is from the brand Etude House or Etude House. It's a Korean makeup brand and it's called the My Beauty Tool. This is totally a remake of the Artiste brush. I haven't actually tried the Artiste brush yet, so I don't mind using an alternative and see if this actually works. So this is what the brush looks like and it also comes with a different head. This is a little sponge which you can attach onto the end, I assume. So that's pretty cool. I don't think you get that with the Artiste brush originally. Okay, so I assume that this is a foundation brush, so I'm gonna use my NARS Shea Glow foundation and just see how this blends into my skin and if it's actually worth the hype because why not just use a beauty blender like I've been told that this brush is apparently better than the beauty blender but I don't know um okay I'll just apply it here underneath my eye I don't really know how you're meant to use this are you meant to swipe it or are you meant to like do circular motions I'm so confused. Like, it's leaving weird strokes on my face. I have to say for my initial, kind of like, first impression, I don't think it's worth it. Probably can't tell on camera, but this is leaving weird brush strokes on my face. So I don't think this is really great for blending at all. I'd rather use a beauty blender. I guess it's okay for blush, but I don't think that there's any reason why you should buy this kind of brush instead of just using a regular brush. I, I wouldn't say it's any better, to be honest. I'm not trying to promote the Kylie lips at all. I think it's really dangerous, so you have to really be careful when you're using things like this. But because this is a testing weird beauty products and tools video, I thought I can't miss these out. So here I've got two different sizes of the full lips. And these are basically things that you put on your mouth. You create a suction between your lips and the cup and it's meant to basically pull all the blood to your lips and in turn make them a little bit more plump. I'm sadly going to have to remove my lipstick. Okay, so I've just removed my lipstick. As you can tell, my top lip is much smaller than my bottom lip. So this is the before shot. Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> okay, it looks like a cat's butthole, not gonna lie. I don't know if I can tell the difference, like I've got so much purpleness and redness around my lips, that cannot be good for my lips. Are my lips bigger though? I mean, they look a little bit bigger, but there's not like a dramatic difference or anything. I would say it works, but is it worth the pain? I feel like as girls we shouldn't have to go through things like this in order to get big lips. I think we should just accept how we look and there's always lip liner, that's what lip liner is for. Okay, so the next thing I'm testing is an actual product and this is the My Lip Patch. And this is a, I think, Korean lip mask, I think they're called. And I have never used a lip mask before. I've used face masks, but never lip masks. So this is what it looks like. Ooh, so it's like a little lip shape thing. This is really hard. By the way, guys, I just got 
fake nails and it, literally I can't type, I can't do anything with these nails, they're so impractical. Okay, so I've got this little sheer layer of whatever this is. <laughs> it looks really strange, it's really big for my lips, so I'm just gonna put it on I guess. five minutes my mouth area does feel really like moisturized like I don't actually know the point of this is it meant to get rid of chapped lips is it meant to like really moisturize your lips because my lips still feel pretty chapped but then again my lips are so chapped that it's like no going back but I think it's quite a cool thing like I, I never thought you could have like lip masks imagine if you get like a nose mask next or like an ear mask that'd be so cool someone needs to come up with that no yeah I'd give this thing a thumbs up like I really thoroughly enjoyed the process of this it was kind of weird at first but I like it okay the next thing I'm trying out is these little finger puppets I think I don't know what they are like they're just so weird it's like little cotton balls that you're meant to put on your fingers and massage your face with and I don't know if you're meant to massage your face with them when you're washing your face I would assume so all right I don't know if this is gonna work with my fingernails now <laughs> This is very strange, like very, very strange. I think I'm just going to use two on my index and middle finger. I don't know what I'm meant to do with these, to be honest. Just what? What do I do? Do I like massage my face? They don't feel nice. And the last but not least is the famous bubble carbonated clay mask. It looks like this. Let's get this open with my long ET nails. No. It's not happening. I guess I can't open it, guys. Okay, I'm totally gonna have to get my mum to open this for me because I'm five. Okay, she opened it. Thanks, mama. To remove my makeup, just so that I can test this on my skin and see how it actually works. BRB. Okay, it's going on. Ooh, it's very gloopy. Like, very, <gasps> very gloopy. I'm kind of scared to go anywhere near my eye because when it starts bubbling it's gonna bubble into my eye this color literally matches my life it's like gray I'm gray my hair is gray just everything is gray gray is my favorite color if you couldn't tell yet oh my god I haven't even finished applying it and it's already bubbling ah! okay I'm gonna give it a few minutes and see how it goes okay so it's been about three minutes and I just love this like I feel so cute like my face is really chubby now it's like all fluffy and bubbly I don't know I'm just uh, ignore me okay so let me show you guys what it looks like close up this has bubbled up so much and this side is so so fuzzy I kind of want to touch it and see what it feels like I'm scared ah! It feels so spongy. Okay, so it's all on my hand now and I don't know what to do with it. This is my skin after. I have to say it feels quite smooth. I mean, it doesn't feel like amazing or anything. It's just like smoothness that any kind of mask would give you. I mean, it's really fun for the experience when it bubbles up, but I don't think it's actually like anything special. But then again, what do I know about skin? Not much. So I want you guys to let me know down below what you think of this, if you have tried it or if you want to try it. So I actually forgot to finish the outro for this video. So sorry about that guys, but I quickly wanted to mention a video I did with my boyfriend Matt over on his channel and it's so, so funny. So please be sure to check that out. I'll have the link in the description, but you can also click on the screen right now to be redirected to that video. And also don't forget to check out my latest two videos. One is a makeup tutorial and the other is a lookbook. So defo be sure to check those out as well. I really hope you guys like this video. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye!